This video today is about a little chat I had with Christian. Christian used to be a rock star. Discuss rock star, but he used to play in a big band and play guitar and wrote music and well, yeah, rock star I think is a great term. So um, he gave up all that rock star fame and fortune and finance, discuss, to live on an arrowboat. And here's my chat with Christian. All the information about Christian is in the uh, description below. Just in case you want a music lesson, because that's what he does now. He teaches music or teaches guitar and he's, he's all right as a guitarist, I suppose. You know, okay. But um, I'm not gonna make the video any longer than it needs to be, so run the intro and run the VT. Is that just a warm-up? Yeah, just I'm writing that song. Do you sing as well? No, unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> Who does the singing for unlucky you? Unlucky because when you sing, you have everything in your control. You know, you're the leader in the band. You take everything, and by law, you're allowed to 50% of royalties, where the musicians get nothing, more likely. You know, for instance, the record contract we had, which is a good one, to be honest, uh, we only had, uh, you know, the, the lead vocalist will take 50% and then 20% to the label and the musicians will share 30%. So never mind, you do the best solos or riffs or I wrote the whole album. I wouldn't say, oh, that's not true, but good 60% and look at what I got. And then I believe in equal share. So whatever was left to the band, I said, I'm not taking extra because I wrote quite a few things. We're all going to share it equally. And that's how it should be. That's very magnanimous. Now there's bands like Coldplay that do the same. Queen did the same yeah. after Lately the Queen did, yes. Yeah. Lately, because they had arguments about yeah, they did, it. Yeah. You know, they all do because the label will push you into that. Because the idea is to give the leader more power so it's like everything, you know, you want one man in control, the general, you know, and that you go. And, and, but in music, it's been problems, you know, all the way, because I don't find it fair. Neil Young does a wonderful speech about this. And it says that you've got to think of it like a car. You know, you could be the best driver, but without the engine, you can't go anywhere. You know, so we're all in the band, we all contribute. And if I wasn't there, you couldn't do it without me. Hence why we're all there, you know, at the same time. And, in, and then yet you're taking 50% because the law allows it. Nah, I don't agree with that. I couldn't. Do ya? Mate, I get it. Yeah. 100%. Equal rights, you know what I mean? It's a simple st story, you know. That's why bands do break up. <coughs> most of the time is that you know even I left for that sort of reason because by the end we were touring 120 flights a year and so on but then the band changed where it used to be so and so and the spasm band now it's just so and so so yeah. what about us now we're not even getting recognition for what we're doing you know you're taking everything no I don't see a point in doing it anymore you know and, and goodbye you know Mate, you could, could you start by yourself? Well, you can't sing. No, but I wouldn't want to do the same thing again, okay. like traveling so much, you know. Yeah. I'm happy with my new life, you know. I had a dream of moving on about, and that comes with the life, you know. So I have to accept that it would be very, very hard for me to go touring like that and be at the airport at 4 a.m., you know. They'll book the cheapest flights, you know. Uh, you're lucky if you're not pedaling in the flight, you know? <laughs> yeah, you know, or there is a donkey pushing the aeroplane to take off. So, you know, it's a hard life in itself. You really have to have a drive, a good drive for it. You know, the rewards are immense, but you're putting a lot of hours in there. No yeah. sleep, forget sleep, you know, 
so you're always on the move, you know? So I've made some pasta, green, and um, also some tomato thingy with some cheese. Oh, thanks for coming round, mate. Oh, you're more than welcome, you know, as always. Thanks to you, and what I meant to say as well is thanks a lot to your viewers because of the comments I got from the last vlog we did together. Okay, yeah, yeah. And the comments were really full of love and appreciation and it was beautiful. So I wasn't expecting that really. Um, and so it was really nice. So I, a massive thank you to you guys, the viewers, <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. But may I think you deserve it. You thoroughly deserve it because, no. Oh. You are a top bloke. I don't know. You Certainly are. Certainly a bloke. <laughs> That'll do. Um, but, uh, you know, I really thank you, you know. I, it was really wonderful. And it also shows the type of crowd, you know, that watches your vlogs, you know. Very interesting people as well, because they made their own comments as well. And yeah, yeah. Suggestions. So, very interesting and intelligent, you know. I thought. I think I've got a um, a good viewership who are. Yeah. I think there are our age group, by and large. Mm -mm -mm. I don't. Yeah. So, certainly mine. I think you're a bit younger than me, but. Well, no, really. Well, a tiny bit. I'm 51. Yeah, six, seven years difference. Something yeah, like that. that's not much. Right. So mm. they're our sort of demographic. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I get it. I'm, I'm people appreciate what i appreciate your friendship for starters because i think yeah, you're an thanks. interesting bloke and uh, okay. you, you, you knock out a few yeah. tunes on the on the guitar a little bit yeah <laughs> <laughs> how's um how's the lessons going yeah i'm teaching more i've got six students at the moment um so two online uh, not regularly, but I do two people online and four face to face. One of uh, one guy's a boater, mm -hmm. uh, Fat Dave. Okay. And then you met him. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. Um, I do like his dog, Sadie. Oh, it's a beautiful soul, man. The <laughs> dog is so sweet. He's something else, man. But also, Dave is a beautiful, yeah, he's a not nice, bloke. beautiful yeah, 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 soul. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so I teach Dave, um, and then three... Dave's not fat, by the way. No, we call him Fat Dave because he's very skinny, <laughs> and so but super skinny, and then you can barely see him, <laughs> and, <laughs> and then we call him Fat Dave. You know, um, he's a beautiful guy, definitely fat heart. You know, oh yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. so wicked, and uh, he comes for lessons, and he's so happy about it. He's really seeing the improvement, and. Then and then I've got three people in Bushi. For some reasons, they've all come out of Bushi. So yeah, it's been okay. I haven't really looked for them. They just came to me, you know, because um, I wasn't looking for so much work. I wanted to focus more on my boat. So how is the boat going? Well, very slow as they do, you know, <laughs> they go, <laughs> perhaps, <laughs> no movements. No, I've done jobs, you try, you know, uh, the weather has been disappointing, man. It's really been disappointing. What? It's hard to stay mentally fit when you plan so much and you have so much energy, you're ready to go and then, boof, it rains, you know, or windy. And it's done a lot of rain. Uh, I've, I, I, I said it in one of my vlogs, I don't think it's come out yet, but um, I feel cheated this summer. I know, and the last one as well. well last year, we should have paid taxes. Honestly, I think it's just been, has it been a one-off year? I've known summers like this before, it's not really been sunny. No. Which is why most Brits go on holiday. Absolutely, you know, to be honest, in some ways we're a lot luckier here oh, because when you look at where i'm from 
they've hit 47 48 yeah. celsius only you know that's that's hot you know my mom was telling me like oh we're in the sea all day you know just in the water because it's so hot you can't do anything it's hard to do things yeah where at least here yeah you can complain about it but you can do other things maybe not painting a boat or doing your gunnels you know or yeah. all the jobs you you planned you know so, so it's going slow but but going yes moving forward but you've done your um your studio i've built my studio yeah forget about that that took six months the tiniest studio in the world 80 centimeters by 120 jesus six months because you know you you think oh i'll get that screw off it, it takes five minutes but when you go there there's under 10 jobs before you can do <laughs> take yeah. the screw off so yeah the studio is lovely and i needed it for work because yeah, i yeah. started to get students and requests online which i used to get before but i i had to let them go because i didn't have the equipment or the setup and if you don't look good it doesn't work really yeah that's the world we live in you know uh, so then i wanted to have it you know done properly so yeah the studio has been a great improvement and seeing my life slowly coming back yeah very good something on um, the tube you know those adverts that people mm -hmm. hopefully watch particularly mm -hmm. on my channel and um, learn the guitar mm -hmm. in I don't know five ten minutes yeah, or five, an ten. hour or however long it, it yeah. I don't I switch it off anyway because I know yeah surely you can't learn a guitar that quickly no i mean there are shortcuts of course but if that's what you're interested in then you're not interested really in playing the guitar and you're not interested in the journey it's a fact because like everything else when you really love it you gotta put the time in you know and and go through the steps you know and then you see yourself improving you know but we live in in a society where now everything is fast you know everything is immediate and and especially the younger generations you know they skip from one video to the next one to the next one they cannot focus on one thing you know and so everything is moving in a much faster motion with that comes good and bad okay because perhaps on some issues uh, and some things you know some topics you could definitely cut some corners and so on but cutting corners is never a good thing is it no i don't well no it's like we were saying you can paint a boat just don't sand it don't prime it just slap some paint on and say oh i painted me boat yeah but after two months the paint is gonna fall off yeah you know you yeah. gotta do your preps you gotta do your thing. it's the same thing in everything so okay here's here's a question how do you think this thing called ai is going to yeah challenge the way that you teach or absolutely man we've got to get ready man it, there is no way it's going to go backwards because it's we humans that push to this standards you know and these sort of things it was we are creating it they're not coming out of trees or, or you know nature so the problem is we've seen already a loss of work in general look at the industrial revolution yeah okay this is the same it's not different is the industrial revolution times 10 because obviously it's updated to modern days you know so a and i already we've seen the self-checkout you know in the supermarkets and we've seen already in a subliminal way you know the companies are educating us to machinery you know machines you go there and the guy will be shouting self check out I say sorry i checked myself already i look good maybe you <laughs> need to go and self check yourself i've done it and you know surely machine cannot check me out you know so then 
Uh, it is the new world, you know, and funny enough, it's all down to profits, you know, it's for corporate it is, world yeah. Yeah, yeah. to keep their profit margins, you know, and cut down overheads and, and keep that project, you know, the, the, the template going really, uh, you know, it's like a template everywhere spreading and people will lose, we lose jobs, never mind oh, okay. musicians, we are going to lose work, but we are creative. But what about the person that is not so creative? He's not a bad person. He's not a worse person. He's just a different human being. He hasn't. He doesn't have the creativity. So he it, it, it cannot just say, "Oh, I'm going to find another job." How? how? You know. So A and I is going to be another level, man. We got to get used to it and do whatever we can. Perhaps we're lucky because we are a little bit older. Yeah, we so are. Maybe it's not going to affect us in the same way it's going to affect youngsters, you know, because a lot of jobs will disappear. Yeah, yeah. You know, what's the point of going to university and be a journalist when A and I will write so many articles? Better than you. Yeah, and music, obviously, we're going to be affected. It's happening already, and with music, we've seen it before with the music programs where drummers have lost work, you know, because the computer could do the drums, you know, and other things. With guitars, luckily, they struggle a bit because the guitar have so many dynamics, so you can hit hard, softer, you know, and miss sometimes a bit, which makes it really interesting, you know. Um, out of luck you get an interesting sound you know so the human factor with guitar is really difficult for a computer to replicate you know they can do some stuff but not so well but AI and i will kill it will take over so do you think we should stop ai but well, you can't stop it you, was it was it ever down to the people we vote for governments and representatives is is down to them to follow what people want you know uh, and to be honest it's not down to me and you what can we do well uh, no, nothing really but a voice and opinion because yeah um ai has is absolute benefits mm. i i wonder how universities are going to mark a graduate's dissertation yeah it's not um, I, I do wonder, um, song creators, uh, you know, you do you write lyrics or no, just write music? No, yeah, just music. The likes of, I don't know, Ed Sheeran, for, yeah. ex for example. Yeah. Um, he's a guitarist, a musician, mm. a lyricist, a singer, uh, all-round performer. In a good one, yeah. Uh, yeah. He's good. Yeah. I don't think AI will take over him. He will. You think? Yeah. Because you see the point, the industry have learned that all you need to produce is what people want. What people like. So if computer, A and I, whatever, can put a, a bunch of information together and produce something that is guaranteed is going to be accepted and and this happens already you know drake this american artist so they, they they've asked this guy asked ai to write a song uh in the drake style with his voice and and he put it out there and he went he went nuts million billion viewers and people couldn't tell if it's him so or if yeah, it yeah. wasn't him so uh, they've done this other track where they can get Paul McCartney voice on when he was 19 and then when you and then also with his late um, voice of you know the most current you know voice he got now so basically AI can do crazy stuff you know but what w w where the nail in the coffin is that the AI can do successful stuff guaranteed Whereas we're not guaranteed. No, with, with artists, there's always a risk because you have to back a artist, and yet it hasn't gone worldwide. And in general, artists tend to be unique. Where AI is not interested in that. If he finds a template that works and sell, you know, the computer, you know, the program, whatever it is, will produce that. So not necessarily another Miles Davis or John Coltrane or Jimi Hendrix you know 
or Johnny Rotten, you know, or Iggy Pop. It's not going to happen because they tend to follow what's liked. Okay. Instead of breakthrough, you know. Oh, so there won't be any revolution. No, not like on a creative. No, not like that. Not so. I don't think so. It'd be very different because if they aim for using AI is to guarantee, you know, sales. Yeah. So they want products that are already tested and proved that they work, and they're educating the younger generations for that. And that's what you're going to get. Yeah, and don't forget the young, the audience is getting a lot younger than it used to be, because in our time we couldn't buy a record until we were twenty at least. You know, you had to have a job and so on. You did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, we're nowadays streaming music. You, you're not buying nothing, so the the yeah, the audience is got is become a lot younger than it used to be. You now have twelve years old downloading records and music so they don't care they're gonna target all of that you know so definitely and also they're talking about they're gonna do some you know uh, create their own uh, AI artists so that when you go to concert you only watch videos or holograms or that kind of thing so ABBA have done something haven't they and yeah and apparently it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing bomb, yeah bomb yeah there you go. So, but I I, I kind of get Abba doing it, and the mm. reason why they were they were a phenomenon, if that's the right word. Yeah, man. In the seventies, eighties, and then they they broke up. And the production is so deep, isn't it? It's nuts, isn't it? Just? Honestly, yeah, honestly. I mean, I th I know there's a lot of rock bands that used to respect Abba. No, yeah, not my thing, but the production is nuts. It's really deep to very detailed yeah then they're, they're a serious serious project you know and i think uh, i would like to see them mm. um I'll take some lsd <laughs> you'll see them for a week <laughs> <laughs> but i i have a uh, everyone have you got an abba album everyone's got no I, no again it wasn't my thing but i understand quality even though the apple is not my fruit it's not different to the orange you know so just not my thing but definitely you know a uh, great band great yeah. project everything is spot on yeah you know you, you can't really fault it it's just whether you like it or not yeah you know so that's the like is the killer you see like the like thingy is what's given the corporate world a foot in because they can work out what we like and then just feed that because everything has to be has to look like if it's all positive it's all perfect like a facebook post you only post your best moment yeah so that culture is what's taking away creativity as well and dictating what's gonna work and what's not gonna work it has to be liked where the sex pistols they never wanted to be liked okay yeah and, and that that liking bit that that creates endorphins and stuff like that for for the book of faces and and instagram yeah but i don't feel that that's setting people up for life you can't be liked all the time but then like, no and then it's also fair not to be it's fine not to be liked as long as your loved ones like you, what else do you need? I mean, and in in in, in back in the days, we, we wanted to be liked, you of know? Course we but, did. but 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 to to a point, you know. Not now that you want to be liked for everything, and you're actually seeking those likes. Then you, I don't go. I haven't been on Facebook in four years now. But I used to go, you know. And even I enjoyed. Oh wow, got four hundred likes. What? You, you feel great yeah, yeah, yeah. in some ways yeah. so of course i'm human too you know and when you see that you've done this gig and thousands are clicking like no but not everyone can get that and that, oh, i don't and then you, you get a lot of depressed youth you know yeah and, and that's that's the thing with it's not fair man with that style of i don't know social media i mean let's let's just check out my my instagram
I've only do it to try and improve my brand. I don't know how it works really. I've only got four likes. Yeah. That's another. Uh, I like that picture. No, it's great, you know, but you you do put really good content, and a lot of people will do the same, you know. So it's also how you use the tools, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That got nine. That's a great picture. That was taken here when I was doing some portrait. That's really good. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's the light is spot on. Yeah. Yeah, that is spot on, proper, beautiful, nice hat as well. Yes. Oh, I need to upgrade. Do you? Well, I got that from Crick. Now this is cool because I can put. I do, yeah, yeah, I can yeah. put my dreads in there. I I got this into a gig from a gig in Portugal. Um, it's actually made by Heineken. The beers. Okay. It's a promo hat, and then they had a bunch of them in in a backstage in Portugal and it's oh can I pick one yeah yeah I have it I've seen it ever since um so talking of dreadlocks mm -hmm. do you still dreadlock what do you mean dread doing the locks yeah man I've only done one yes <laughs> two days ago that's amazing not only I didn't even do it because I was I was gonna do the lock yeah I was right there and then I saw white bean coming and I thought, oh, because, you know, when it's empty, you want to let them in. I said, oh, no, I'm not going to let them in. I'm going to do my lock. So then when I go, I can open the gates and just go. I don't have to stop and close them. So that's half a lock, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so I was getting ready to do half a lock. And then suddenly as well, the trip boat came right behind me oh and they're like lock vampires they love doing a lock <laughs> when they see a lock they're like ah oh, they're dribbling we want to do the lock and then they they come out six of them all with windlass you know and uh, and they did the lock so i did nothing i was right there like a <laughs> vip I even felt sorry I had a windlass, you know what I mean? <laughs> so then I only did one lock here. Yeah, I don't do many, as you know. I do three max and then stop. And as we were talking, it's also due to my life. I don't yeah, have yeah, yeah. to be particularly, I don't have to be somewhere particularly, you know, then I will do the locks if I had to. But for me now, it's just following the rules. I move every two weeks and I do whatever you know mileage I need to do a mile and a half or two miles and that's enough sometimes they do half a mile yeah they don't trouble me because they can see I always move you know so. I got pinged the other week actually mm. just the email you got yeah I just yeah. got the email but the thing is I was traveling with three other people and it will piss you off they didn't get it and they didn't get it I know I think the officers maybe sometimes if this did this skip some bouts don't say nothing, man. There'll be other occasions where you don't get it and some other people will get it. As long as it's just the email that tells you, you know, to move, that's fine. You know, because also you don't want interaction with them if you can avoid it. Well, I'd like interaction because I think it, <laughs> it's only right that we all know what the rules are and everybody's... A applying the rules i totally agree 100 million percent but you know uh, the problem is then for you to prove that you love to pursue and say who was with you and stuff like that well that, no because they would know who's with me because they can work it out on their machine not necessarily they will try make you say it. i won't say it i know but that's what they're gonna do that's that's the game they're gonna play because you're not gonna say it. they're gonna say to you we can't do anything right. we'll pass <laughs> <laughs> who do you listen to in your own you know when you just listen to music Okay, yeah, I listen to rock bands. I like bands, you okay. know. I mainly um, I listen to a lot of rock music, to be honest, or African. So I listen to bands like Soundgarden, you know, Nirvana, uh, many, to be honest. The Black Crows from America. I love that band. Um, obviously, loads of guitars, but mainly riffs, you know, not so much soloing. Um, I like punk as well, so I check Iggy Pop, you know, and go back to the old school punk as well as the new school. I like the Foo Fighters as well. 
mainly rock bands rage against the machine i love that band massively and audio slave which was a combo of rage against the machine and soundgarden very cool i like pearl jam and then all of the old rock, you know, Deep Purple, Zeppelin, Stones, Beatles, you know, Elvis, you name it, Dylan, you know. So I have a variety of, I don't listen to much music nowadays because of working on the boat, you know, or going to teach and stuff like that. And then when I do listen, I listen to stuff I'm learning and practicing, like the gypsy jars at the moment. It's completely new to me. And it's a new planet because the way they hold the pick and they play is totally different to electric guitar players. So after so many years, it's almost like relearning how to walk. Okay. Yeah, it's a challenge. You know, I like a challenge. So it's cool you know um, i listen to quite a few gypsy jazz artists you know and again jungle ryan art definitely but also you know um angelo de bar i love this guy he's very very cool you know and a few more tommy emmanuel as well acoustic guitar player is more um wide than just gypsy, gypsy jazz he'll be playing a few different styles you know and he's great so i've been listening to things like that and understand the way it works you know and the feel of it it's a new thing for me you know um so that's what i'm enjoying to be honest and the fact that you can play unplugged like this not have to be plugged in like the electric guitar and so on you know i had many toys and pedals you know yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, yesterday, Monday, the fella, the traffic warden. Is Natalie the lady? No, it was the fella. It's a new one. Oh. I haven't seen Natalie yet, but then I haven't been Maybe down. she changed sex. Now they've got this walk community. Maybe <laughs> she's now a man. No, let's not go there. Who knows? Maybe he's a dinosaur now. Some people <coughs> are saying, I feel like I'm a banana now. Yeah, and there you go. I, I, I agree. With the I, banana? No, 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 I, <laughs> no, I don't. I agree with your concept. <laughs> we're not, we're we're, not going to go there. We're not bananas. We're not no, going there. No. But I the, the traffic warden passed yesterday. Uh huh. Didn't didn't take my number. He didn't. No. Ah, then you're good. Stay no, good. yeah. Take but, a revenge. Six months here. But then that might mean I get another snotogram because they think I'm back up there. You're not wrong. He's supposed to lock you down. There we go. You're not wrong. I agree with what you're saying because I'm, I've got a similar problem now. I have to go to Harefield, which is very dodgy. Yeah, so I've loaded my guns and then <laughs> I've got all kind of fireworks in case I run out of bullets. It's getting dodgy there, right? People got broken in to boats, their car got broken in, cars and vans, because they can work out. That's a new car. We don't see this car here every week. I'm going to get to Harefield possibly on Wednesday and the officer should come on Thursday. When did he come now? It was Monday yesterday. Wow, that's new. Normally it was Thursday. Well, Nat it was Natalie. It was Natalie. If it still is Natalie. Yeah, I agree with what you're saying. The rules are there for a reason and they're supposed to be respected in certain ways. And it doesn't make sense if there's a bunch of you traveling together, you get the email, they don't get it. It can be upsetting. Oh, I'm not bothered about it. No, no, I can see that. But, but yeah. the problem is, the system now doesn't work. Yeah, it got Because me. it's been abused. It and, and it's not the necessary the people I was traveling with. No. It's the guy who's not taking the numbers Absolutely. down. Absolutely. And so as he's passed me yesterday, I know he passed me, and but he never took my number. Yeah, that's not fair. That's not good. Yeah, that's lazy in a way because he's supposed to do the job and take the number. Some people want to be locked in, you know, which is more important because if you now need to turn and go back, you can't. 
Yeah, because if this was was the end of your mileage now, like me in Harefield, and you don't get locked in, <laughs> that's a big argument right there. Yeah, because they can say to you, "Oh, you weren't there. You haven't done your mileage, and now you got a fight." So there are stronger arguments because that really upsets me, for instance, because now we're not talking a few extra days or so, six months. And, and, and many boats, you know, the boat down here at the corner was right there before I got here. And you've been here two weeks? Yeah. They just, and you moved on? Yeah, no. And he's still there? There are some, and you can check, he ain't got the number on the windows. If they're asking for certain rules to, to be respected, they're not respecting it themselves. No, absolutely. Because they're not taking care of the system. What we're going to see is the canals are going to suffer. I, I agree, absolutely. Because the, the truth is they haven't maintained, in my own humble opinion, they haven't maintained the system up to standard. As you know, the best tactic is to maintain something. Of course it is. Then in the long run, you it's wouldn't need to do, to do big jobs or, yeah. or completely rebuild the lock and stuff like that. So they haven't done that and now they can, they, they can, they've got a lot of problems and they're stuffed, you know, they're, they're, it's, it's a big problem, you know. I, 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 but I also think there's, there is a solution to, mm. the, to the problem and I want to discuss it with them at some stage or other and I have written a letter and I you know suggested about strategy and, and mm. how the boating community can help out mm. but I do think there ought to be you can't mortgage the goodwill of people no you know those boaters that want to help out what's the what's it's many of us not only boaters community people from yeah, yeah, the community yeah, yeah. and all of that they will jump in you know and take care of things um, the CRT is not running in tune with the modern times. They're not using the internet in a wise way, you know, in certain ways. They're not capitalizing on certain tools, you know, uh, when they need to fix something. Why, why don't they have a sort of competition between, you know, engineers or people can come up with solutions and ideas. People that are also outside of this system, you know, of the CRT and they're just not doing things with common sense really they're just struggling really they, their their um, business model is all is dated i would argue we don't know what we don't know yeah sure um and there there is probably a way of doing the locks because it's worked for 200 years i get that but i think there's some mundane menial contractual type of stuff mm. that we could do as boaters yeah but we need kind of like the p permission to do that and if it's agreed cut, if it's cutting back stuff where would you put the foliage i agree the problem is they don't encourage liver boards so they're never going to engage in this sort of thing people have tried for years and years and years you know they've tried and they've tried so all this things we're discussing about affects the liverboard because the ones that just cruise in the summer they don't care if a lock is not working or something they just more up there have a barbecue that's it you know what i mean and, and it's done for them but for us it's different so i think they don't encourage that so they're not very concerned they're only concerned about the things that you can actually see physically with your eyes does it look good yeah then it's fine because the people walking by, they can't tell the water is shallow. Mm. And it might suit them if their dog fall in, but in truth, they don't know the details, you know? I get it, yeah, yeah, you're right. So then, like politicians, all it is is the way it looks. Yeah, like, so yeah. I, I watch, I listen to a lot of Fleetwood Mac. Yeah, very really wicked. And uh, Lindsay Buckingham is, is quite... Uh, but there is an ex-guitar player more known, Peter Green, before. Okay. Yeah, that's the guy that wrote Albatross, you know. Okay, yeah, you yeah. Know. So, King... Oh, that's a bit of fleet, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's Peter Green. Yeah, okay. That's not... But also, the, yeah, the, the next one, I never check so much. But yeah, I, I never check who wrote what, you know, just listen. They're great. 
top down. Yeah. yeah. So then, what you what you were saying? Is... Uh, I'm just, but Lindsay Buckingham, when he was playing Big Time, or yeah. Big Love, Big Love, mm -hmm. was singing and doing that stuff. Yeah. Guitar. Not while you sing, you might play rhythm and then. No, no, no. He was doing that that wiggly amp oh, with, wow. with the fingers. Oh wow! Mate, amazing. That's, nuts. That's two people in one. Something <laughs> about this. The boat is not very organised. Yeah, yeah, there is that. I have to say that, and this is another thing that has given a chance to the CRT to do what they want, because we are not like a united army against another army. It's a whole lot of us scattered, you know, and a few can come together, but as we don't come together as one, it is very complicated. Yeah. So that's where the CRT gets an opportunity as well to do whatever they want. Because they're not being challenged enough. No. Exactly that. We're not organized enough in a proper way that then becomes strong, you know, strength, you know, just like army, yeah, you know, yeah. you need that. We're not coming together like that and we can never because we're all nutters. The freedom that comes with boating is also downfall. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. Yeah. Uh, and I agree. Yeah, 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 and you know, it's common sense in the end, you know, because we're all so free, free, then people are like, oh, I can't be bothered to go to that meeting. And if they come, they're drunk or uh, and I haven't even read what it's all about. And it doesn't take long for that apathy to creep in because I yeah. talk to people and they say, oh, what's the point of talking? What's the point of talking to CRT because they don't listen? They don't, yeah, exactly. But then what do you do? Oh, I don't. Yeah, I see. And then the apathy's in and, and then we've lost That's the battle. It. So, and, and it couldn't be just me and you and a few other bolters, you know, to do this. It has to be big numbers. Yes, it does, yeah. Big numbers, coupling, teaming up with an environmental agency, good see, lawyer. It's, it's very sweet. Yeah, it's great. That's number one hit. In the in the boating community, <laughs> the nomadic life, you know, of community people, yeah, they love it. I might switch to sea, you know, going to the sea, there'd be no locks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but being on the sea's a lot harder, surely. It's hard, man. It's really hard. And do you think you can cope with the sea? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I think I could. You know, it's like most things. Where there's a will, there is a way. Well, yeah, but if we... I want to do it, then I'll overcome whatever comes my way. You know. But your medical position surely doesn't allow you to. Experience spend that amount of energy a diabetic yeah mean? it's all manageable i think most more people do it you know with the diabetes have to be very disciplined you know i don't plan to go and cross the atlantic every week if i go out to sea uh, it will be first in the mediterranean back home okay so it's nice see it, well it's not it's yeah. quite a rough sea actually it's quite um, mental actually uh, it can change random wind can change very quickly it's not so easy but what it is is i love i love a marina you know i've loved you know a space in my marina so i always go out and go back in oh fair know? enough eh? and then in the mediterranean there's so many places you can do you know greece Perhaps we could do this again, mm. maybe a shorter version. Yeah, maybe see if Milo wants to be involved. Okay. Yeah, my friend. He's really cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because he's coming up this way and he's going to stay on this stretch, so you're surely going to meet. Okay. Yeah. Be nice. And perhaps do a more developed music session, maybe with a better weather. I can get a couple of more people, we can sit outside. That would be nice. And play a couple of tracks, you know, do it properly. I think it would be September-ish time, mm. late late September, mm. mid to late September maybe. All right, sweet man. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Thank, thanks for coming over. and oh, uh, Thank you, as always. Great stuff. So, until next week, ciao, Papa. <laughs> <laughs>